Hey everyone, here's some small dead by daylight quality of life changes that I think would be great for the game and would be very easy to implement. Number one, a perk search bar. Seriously, I still don't know how this isn't in the game. Number two, add bots to custom games. There's already programming for bots in Dead by Daylight, like in the tutorial and the um, the mobile game. So it would be great for some testing if they could just add a bot or two into a custom game if you want to go and test something out. Number three, add an apply to all button for charms. Simple enough. I think it'd be great if I want to have the same three charms on all my killers or all my survivors. Number four, remove the blood point cap. I seriously cannot think of a single good reason why it exists. It doesn't stop cheaters or anything or like if you want to stack it up, there's not really a problem with that. So I just don't know why it exists in the first place. Number five, outfit mix and match. There was literally a bug like a year ago or so where you could do this with like whole outfits that you typically can't mix and then they patch that shit in like a day bro just bring it back it like it does no harm no gameplay benefits it was just a great feature quote unquote number six minimize or remove hook and generator bubbles they're actually such an inconvenience at times and they should make them smaller and shorter or just remove them and have a different visual indicator that blocks your vision less number seven archives and daily rituals should be in the escape menu in case you forget or you need to see the details or something it very easy to add i think number eight when picking up a dying survivor healing them should automatically be cancelled when they go from dying to injured this way it would stop people from accidentally 99ing their down teammate because they were trying to pick them up as fast as possible number nine i swear behavior said this in a developer stream some time ago but i'll say just say it anyway you should be able to look at the store while in queue i don't know how this change takes this many months Number 10, players should have the option to set a custom menu music theme, like you could have the Resident Evil theme or Legion's theme or whatever is your music theme in case, you know, you, I know some people miss some of the older music themes, so you should be able to set it to whichever one you would like. Number 11, nodes in the blood web should be unlocked after a single tap. Leveling blood webs takes way too long and this would 100% help. Number 12, Please fix the goddamn mending vision. There's no reason for the screen to be so dark when you need to mend. Number 13, when a killer starts a Mori, the HUD should display to the survivors that the teammate is getting Moried. So the moment the killer holds M1, you know that your teammate is getting Moried. Number 14, add some general killer dailies like hook 12 survivors or kick 5 gens or other archive type quests. Survivors have them, so why don't killer? Number 15, if a survivor is first hook and they're the last one alive, they should be forced to attempt to escape three times instead of just instantly going to struggle. I think it's a pretty simple change that we you know would maybe add a fun Kobe play or two, but for the most part, I think it's just a fun little change. Number 16, if there are two survivors left and one of them DCs, there should be a timer for the hatch to open because a lot of the time, if you have a survive with friends, one survivor will DC so the hatch opens up right away for the other teammate to deny the killer the 4k which i think is really stupid number 17 if you're solo queued and you die you should be able to see the killer's perk in the post game shot instead of having to wait for everyone to die i highly doubt this would be an abusable feature because if you queue into one of your friends or something you would still have to die to tell them the killer's perks and the game is probably over by then number 18 the timer for the perk saboteur should only start when the hook is fully sabotaged not when you misclick it or some shit and then like the perk is just wasted number 19 when queuing as killer the queue button should say queue as the killer that you have currently selected or like queue as x killer queue as hillbilly or whatever that way you know you're queuing as the killer but then the game would also let you switch over to other killers to level them in the blood whip while still knowing that you're que have you're queuing as the killer that you originally pressed ready with Number 20, add a score event that gives survivors blood points when one of their teammate gets three crows. It doesn't have to be anything crazy, maybe 500 or 750 blood points. I think it would just help if your team is AFK, you would get a couple blood points for it. Number 21, you should get some extra blood points when you down an exposed survivor when they were healthy. Again, it wouldn't be anything crazy, like 300 blood points or so. Number 22, add a score event for being left on hook. So if you're first hook and then you go into struggle, you get a couple extra blood points for being left on struggle because it's kind of your teammates fault again nothing crazy like 500 blood points or so number 23 killer should get blood points when a survivor escapes through the hatch like the hatch is basically a game of luck which i really don't mind but the killer has already won the match by that point and they should get some blood points so survivor gets lucky and finds the hatch number 24 leather faces chainsaw should not stop the unhooking animation don't think this one needs explaining and last but 
definitely not least number 25. Please change this back to kill your friends. It's actually such a great alternative to custom games. And bonus, give Pyramid Head his cake back. <laughs>